China, Russia, we're going to work with them on our own terms. The Chinese don't go around Africa stealing anything from Africans. Your corrupt leaders overcompensate in exchange for something personal. That's what happens. The Chinese don't steal anything. Born. They are in business. When the more uh, you give them, the better for them. Why must they say no? Your leaders are not negotiating in good faith. They are negotiating with their families in mind. That's why they overcompensate. So we have no such a relationship with China. We've got a socialist and developmental relationship with China, and we know that China will help us. Russia is not our friend ideologically. We are with Russia in its fight against Ukraine because we know it's a NATO fight. It's not a Ukraine fight. So that NATO can expand its territory and be closer to Russia and undermine Russia. For that, we'll be with Russia because we can't allow territorial expansion of imperialism and colonialism in whatever direction. But Putin is not left. The government of Russia is not left ideologically. If anything, Putin will be more aligned with the U.S. in terms of policy and ideology, except there are fundamental differences on imperialism where Russia feels that America wants to control it through expanding the military base of NATO because the military base of NATO is an American military base. So we, that, that it, we are with Russia in that context. Not that ideologically we are aligned. But with Vietnam, Vietnam with Cuba, with uh, China, it's a clear ideological alignment of the left forces. And that's where we belong. And we don't isolate anyone. So we are driven by development in this country. We want development. We want to rebuild the infrastructure of this country. We want the rail to work again. We want to remove the tracks on the road. And then we take them back to the railway lanes. Because our roads are not safe, they will be damaged, and the tracks on the road are not safe for the road users. We want to rebuild the infrastructure, water infrastructure of this country. We want to expropriate all buildings that are not used for any purpose to give, to convert them into social housing and give them to our people so that they can stay close to where they work. We are an organization in a mission to restore the teaching profession and pay teachers proper salaries so that we restore their dignity in society. We grew up teachers being respected. Today, teachers can't afford a subsidized house. A teacher who taught me driving Corolla at that time, they are still driving it till today because they can't afford a new car. What type of government are we which neglects such people who play an important role? Seated here, you might not have passed through the hands of a policeman. You might not have passed through the hands of a prison warder. But all of us, all of us, we passed through the hands of a teacher. And we are ungrateful for what those people have done for us. The nursing profession was beautiful. Even the ugliest nurse was beautiful because the profession was beautiful. Nicely paid. The nurses nicely dressed. The nurses' faces welcoming. Not these ones that we are seeing now. 
who speak to you like you, you are about to be beaten. Because their anger comes from the conditions they work in. And worse in those conditions, they are not paid anything. The policemen who chase after dangerous criminals. Here is a criminal who stole 20 million cash. You go cash it, catch the criminal. He says to you, I take two and leave. And then you remember that this could be between me and the poverty at home. They get tempted. We need to reward them for catching dangerous criminals. We need to reward them for killing cash in transit criminals. Those ones, they must not negotiate with them. Because those ones of cash in transit, they are dangerous criminals. They are the army. They are the army. Look at the kind of weapons they use. Police must drop them. And after dropping them, we must reward them. We must reward the police who drop cash in transit haste criminals. We must reward the police who arrest rapists and investigate that rape case successfully and prosecute it successfully. There must be a reward for that. Today, Ramaphosa as he steals that slash funds of the intelligence. Today, the informers in communities, informers, are no longer given money. There is a, a intelligence, crime intelligence slash funds that is given to informers. They are saying each informer can be given more than 500 rand. Imagine the informer that informed the police about that gangster in Toyando, which they killed how many 20 or something in one house who were planning to go and do cash in transit in Toyando. And that time when they were killing those criminals at Toyando, that was the period where cash in transit in Toyando was a daily bread on the streets. They killed those criminals. That thing stopped because it was them who were committing it. Imagine a person who gave us that information and saved us a lot of money and life, given 500 rand. And then he's paid more than Kumbuzo Nchabin, who has got no role, nothing, except to be a lobbyist of a president. The EFF government will reward the police informers, depending on the size and the magnitude and the impact of the information they gave us, that's how we're going to defeat crime. We need to reward informers. We need to pay the police. 